Thank you for joining us today at Levittown Public Library Stretch Fusion class with Debbie. Today is Thursday, June 1st at around 1.30 p.m. Go ahead, Debbie. All right. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you out there and watching us virtually, as well as the people here in class for our ongoing Stretch Fusion um, workout sessions. So why don't we just stand up and get the show on the road here? So my feet are slightly together, um, toes are out, kind of in a V position. We're just gonna lift our heels a little bit as we bring the arms up towards the sky or any range of motion. You know the drill, you know how to modify for yourself. So inhale, as you lift the heels, bring the arms all the way up, exhale, bring them down. And again, inhale, everything rises up. Exhale, everything comes down. One more time, inhale, bring it all up and exhale, taking it all down. And we're just gonna get our arms and body warmed up a little bit. So we're just gonna, I call them floppy arms. You're just gonna kind of twist your shoulders to the right as your arms just flop and flop, just bringing it around, warming up the spine a little bit. Just bringing the arms around, getting that body warmed up. Even though it's warm outside, our muscles need to be warm and pliable. The colder your muscles are, the more prone to injury you are. So we're just going to go for two more and one more and just bringing the hands to the side. So from here, you can straighten out your feet a little more to the parallel position if they were still in that feet. We're just going to do what I call pedaling. You're just going to alternate lifting your heels up. So we're just going to start with that right heel and the left, so you're going side to side. You can also just slightly swing your arms, just taking it side to side and getting that body warmed up and bringing it around. All right, go for four more and three more and two more, one more each side and one more and bring hands down. And just to warm up the shoulders, we're going to bring the palms forward. We're gonna make arm circles go as big as is safe for you. And they could be little teeny circles or super big. So bringing them forward up and around. When you come down the back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, bringing them around for two. We'll go for five in each direction, taking them around for three and around for four and around for five. Now reverse the direction, taking it back and around for one, kind of warming up the upper back muscles. And that's two and around for three, and four, and five. So now to warm up the hips a little bit, and holding on when this isn't part of our balance, so be safe. You're gonna take that right knee and sort of cross it over to the left, making a circle as if you have a pen sticking out your knee. So just bringing it around as big as is safe for you, and two, bringing it around for three, and four, and five, reverse your direction, taking it around for one, and two, and three. Here's four, one more, and five. Good, starting with that other leg, crossing that left leg over to the right for one, and two, and three. Here's four, and five, reverse the direction, bringing it around for one, and two, three and four and five. So warming up the neck a little bit, keeping the shoulders level, keeping the chin level. You're going to, we're just gonna look, and we're going a little bit faster pace because we're not, we're still warming up the body. So you're gonna look all the way over that right shoulder and then taking it over to the left. Two more times, over to the right and to the left. One more time, over to the right and left. So now you're gonna to look to the right, but stay there. Over to the right. You're gonna drop your chin, roll it across your chest from right to left. Then take it from left to right. And again, right to left, left to right, and take it to the center. So now look all the way over the left shoulder. Then drop your chin, taking it left to right, right to left. One more time, left to right, 
right to left and back to center. So now just lower the right ear down to the right shoulder. Try not to twist your chin. Sometimes people do it like this, just flat down, taking that right ear, the right shoulder, holding it there a little bit, reaching towards the floor with that same hand, and then relax that hand, reach with the other hand, feel the difference and relax. Now bring that left ear to the left shoulder, starting now with that same side first, the left hand and relax, taking it with the right hand to feel the difference and relax and just bring everything upright. So we are gonna start with a little bit of balance and coordination. I always like to start our classes with that because as we do get older, we are all getting older every minute, <laughs> our balance goes off. So you may see it in yourself, good to practice <laughs> really every day, we should be. So you're gonna put all the weight on that left leg. We're gonna lift the right leg up. We're gonna try to lift it up. We're gonna lift up to a four count. Or we're gonna hold it for eight. I might regret that, but here we go. Bringing that right leg up for one, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, and four. So let's do that again, bringing it up. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, four. One more time. Bringing it up, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, and four. So we're going to stay on this side for now. Sometimes I switch back and forth and one on each side, but for now we're staying. So you're gonna take that leg, the right leg that you just wore, bringing it in front, heel to toe. I'm gonna to turn slightly sideways so you can see. And now in this position, we're on our tightrope, lean slightly forward, lift your back, heel up, and then take it back, not too far back, but just lift the front, the ball of the foot up. And again, take it forward, the back heel comes up, we're on our little rocking horse, taking it back, lift the front of the foot up, one more each way, just for three, so lift the back heel, lift the front of the foot, and lower it down. Stay on your tightrope, pick up the right foot and put it behind the left. And now put it back. Put it behind. And put it back. Last time, put it behind. Put it back. And now your feet are parallel. So let's do everything that we just did on that side, on the other side, keeping it even. So all of our weight is now on that right foot. If you need to adjust your position, make sure your chair is always within reach just in case. So lift up that left knee, bring it up for one, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, and four. Good, one down, two to go. Here we go, bring it up, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take it down, two, three, and four, one more time, bringing it up, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take it down, two, three, and four. All right, that was the hardest, we got that out of the way. So now place your left foot in front of the right, like you're on your tightrope. Slight gap in between, so you don't catch one foot on the other. Let's rock the boat, lean it forward, lift the back heel, then lean it back with the front, front of the foot, front toes. Take it forward again, the back heel comes up. Take it back, front toes up. One more, take it forward, back heel. Take it back, front toes. Lower the front of the foot, but stay on your tightrope. And now pick up that left foot, put it behind the right. And bring it back in front. Again, take it behind. And in front. Last time, take it behind. And in front. 
and feet are parallel. All right, good job with that. All right, so we are going to take it into like warming up the hips and the knee joints. I don't wanna call them squats because they're not full squats, but we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips, bend the knees and bring your arms forward. Um, so we're gonna start with just, just, the, um, just the squat down, bringing the arms forward. So here we go, taking it down, bringing the arms forward and coming back up. Now, when you bring the arms forward and the knees forward, try not to come down like this. It's more like sticking the booty out as opposed to bringing the knees forward. So here we go, raise the arms up, reaching forward as the backside's going in the opposite direction, come back up, you don't have to go too low. We're gonna go for three more, taking it down and bringing it up, two more, taking it down, bringing it up, last one like this, taking it down, and bringing it up. So now we're just gonna lift the heels up. And when the heels come up, the arms are gonna come out to the side. So here we go, lift the heels, bring the arms out, take it down. And two, and down. Take it for three, two more coming up, up for four, last one, and five, and down. So we're gonna do a little combination of the boat, both moves. We're gonna take it down with the arms up, but when we come up, then we're gonna lift the arms and the heels up. So we're only gonna go for three sets of that. So here we go, sit it back, arms forward. Come back, arms out to the side. Taking it down, reaching it forward and bringing it up to the arms to the side. One more, taking it down, reach it forward. Coming back up, arms out to the side and bringing the arms down. All right, so we're gonna do another little combination. We're gonna take a nice wide stance. Try to align your knees so that they're coming, visualize where your second and third toes are in between your shoes. And that's where the knees go. You don't wanna be in like this because you're putting pressure on the knees. So as we go down, you're just gonna slowly just bring yourself down, legs out to the side, and then slowly come up. You don't have to go down far, it could be so tiny. Taking it down for two, and bringing it up, take it down for three, and up, just two more, slowly come down for four, and up, and you should feel nothing in those knees, taking it down for five, and bringing it up. Good, from here, we're gonna stay in this position, because we're eventually gonna do a combination. You're gonna bring your arm up, the right arm up, as that left arm comes down. Now, a modification, you can just lean to one side, lean to the other side if any issues with arms or shoulders or anything. So we're gonna start with that right arm up, we're gonna alternate. So bring that right arm up, left arm reaches down, on position, and then switch other side. And take it over for two, reach it up, nice stretch. Get that nice stretch down the whole side of the body and reach. Taking it over for three and other side. Two more like this, over for four, reach it up and other side. One more in each direction, over and bringing it to the other side and bringing the arms down. So we're gonna put that together again for a total of three. And if I ever say a number five, eight, whatever that is, if that's too many for you, you know, you don't have to do it. You do what is safe for you. So the hands are just to the sides. We're gonna take it down into our plie squat and then come to one side and then plie squat and come to the other side. So we're gonna do more of the knee bends than you are the side. because so we're not gonna go one side, one side in between. Sometimes we do that, but we're not gonna do that today. So slowly take it down, bring it up, right arm up and over and back to the side. Now bend down, take it down and up, left arm over and down. Here we go, taking it down and up, the right arm and down. So take it down and up and the left. So we have one more complete set. So, so take it down, bring it up, right arm over and take it down and up, left arm over 
and take it down. All right, it's bringing the legs slightly together. So we're gonna take it into some shoulder rolls and then we're gonna take it into a little bit of a roll down. So bring the shoulders just up and around. We're gonna go at a fast pace. We're gonna go for five, five forward, five back, <laughs> adjust the shoulders. So bring it around for one and two. We just wanna warm it up back there. Three, four, and five. Now reverse, bring it forward for one and two. Here's three and four and five. So we're gonna take it into a little bit of a roll down. Um, you're gonna roll down to the seat of your chair if you're not comfortable doing it without. So by the roll down, I want you to engage the abs, soften your knees, and you're going to bring your chin to the chest. Imagine your wallpaper and we're peeling you off of the wall. One vertebra at a time, just slowly going down. And if this is as far as you can go, that's fine. Otherwise, you're gonna reach towards the chair or reach towards your knees or reach to the floor. So here we go, engage, come, it come over taking it all the way down, reaching to the chair. You can use that or you can reach towards the floor or whatever is comfortable for you. You don't have to go down all the way and just letting your arms hang, your head hang or not, it's okay. And now we're gonna slowly just roll it up. If you need help, place your hands either on your thighs or on the chair to slowly bring yourself all the way back up. And we're gonna do that one more time. So you're engaging the abs, slightly softening the knee, chin to the chest, rolling yourself down. And again, this might be as far as you're going, or you can go a little farther depending on your comfort level and your safety level. Taking it down, either reaching the hand toward the chair, towards the floor, whatever is safe for you. Taking it down as far as you are comfortable with. And now you're slowly coming all the way back up, one vertebra at a time, hands on the thighs or the chair, again, to protect your back as you roll yourself all the way back up. Okay, so we are going to take it um, into one last just breathing while we're standing, and then we will have a seat. So we're just going to bring the arms all the way up as we inhale. Inhale up, the eyes look up to the sky. Exhale down, the eyes look down to the floor. Two more times, inhale up, eyes look up to the sky. We're not moving our head, just the eyes. Exhale, eyes look down to the floor. One last time, inhale, eyes look up. Exhale, the eyes look down. So we're gonna have a seat. And at any time during the stretch workout. Feel free to take sips of water. Water is so important for us. So I'm sitting a little bit forward because if I sit too far back, I don't to reach the floor. So we are going to circle our shoulders just like we did with the shoulder rolls, but we're going to circle them to place our body in our proper position. So bring the shoulders up towards the ears, bring them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then just lower the shoulders down and let the arms casually hang by your sides. So we are going to do some heel lifts. So try to keep this position as much as you can. If it's tiring, because it could be, if you're not used to being up in, in this posture, it could be tiring, um, but try to keep that, that posture. And we are just going, I'm just leaving my hands on my thighs. I'm gonna lift my heels up as high as I can. So slowly bring the heels up and hold them there. Squeeze, feel that in the lower part of the calves and now slowly come down. We're gonna take it up again, all the way up and taking it down. Eventually we're gonna add some arm movements to this. Slowly come up and take it down. Two more, all the way up, hold that up there, squeeze and take it down. One more coming up. Slowly bring it up and take it down. So the arm movements can be actually four different ones, either nothing, just stay here, reaching down towards the floor as the heel comes up. You can also reach out to the sides or reach up towards the ceiling every time the heels come up. So again, you have four choices, nothing down, center, or up. So we're gonna lift the heels up. When we lift the heels up, 
Take it to whatever arm motions are good for you. So lift the heels, do whatever you're doing with the arms, lift them up or not, and then bring them back into the sides if you can. Bringing them up for two and take it down. All the way up for three, two more coming up, taking it up for four and down. Last time, bringing it up for five and taking it down. So we're bringing the arms to the side. And again, at any point, if your arms get tired, even just hanging there, you can place them on the lap or anything that any place that's good for you. So I'm gonna bring my arms out in an A and this can get tiring. So again, adjust accordingly. And you're just gonna lower the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel that stretch and bring that left ear to the left shoulder. We're gonna go a few more times. Try not to let the body rock side to side, just the head. So bring that right ear to the right shoulder and bring that left ear to the left shoulder. One more each time, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and all the way back to the center, and just relax the arms. So we're gonna do two different variations on a yoga cat-cow. One is gonna be very free-flowing. It's not, not really gonna look like cat-cow at all, but it kind of gave me the idea. Um, where you're going to bring your arms back and we're just going to come up and over as you curl the back out. So a cat cow, you're usually you're on your hands and knees. You push your back up towards the ceiling like a mad cat. And then you come back as you arch, bringing your chest up and tail up. So we're going to do a seated version. One is going to be a little bit free flowing and one of it's going to be a little more structured. So you're just going to bring your arms up and over. As you kind of dive forward, you want to curl the back and then open it up. And again, just curl, slightly tucking the chin and open it up. We're going to go for two more. Just curl the back, pull the belly button in and all the way up. One last time, come all the way up, curl the back, belly button in, almost like you're going to dive forward and come all the way back up. So our little more structured would be with the hands on your lap, you're gonna be sliding your hands towards your knees. As you do that, the head is gonna go forward and imagine somebody lassoed your spine and that's going to go back. So we're taking it into our cat first. So you're slightly tucking the chin, sliding the hands towards the knees, let your back get pulled back. And now as you slowly come up, imagine a string pulling your head up, chest up, Tail up nice and proud, squeeze the shoulder blades together and take it back to the cat. So you're sliding your hands towards your knees, tucking your chin, rounding the back, belly button in, reaching it. I know there's a lot of, lot of rules here. And now slowly come up, sliding the hands back towards your hips as you bring your chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're gonna go for one more time, slowly take it down, tuck the chin, belly button in, reaching it forward and now slowly come back chest proud so bring the chest forward more so than lifting the head and bringing your head back and now just relax so what you want to be mindful of especially um, if you're doing exercises on your own that you never want to bring your head all the way back like that you want it more from the torso with the head in alignment with the spine and you're coming up like that not this because if you you have arteries in the neck, obviously. And if you bring your head way back, you're crimping. Think of a garden hose. And if you crimp it, the water doesn't come out. If you crimp your artery, the blood doesn't flow to the brain. So on very rare occasions, if you hold your head back long enough, you can cause yourself to pass out. So just keep that in mind. Very, very rare, but it could happen. So we don't want to bring our head way back and hold it there for a very long period of time. So just, just keep that in mind, especially if you do exercise on your own. All right, so we are going to take it into now a little bit of a roll down. We did that standing roll down. We're going to do a similar one in a seated version. And it's going to look sort of like the cat part, but I'm not bringing the back backwards and the head forward and stopping there. I'm going to roll all the way down like we did to the chair or the floor earlier. Again, the farthest you go down is what's your, what you're comfortable with. So I'm not going to tell you to bend your knees that are already bent, but I am going to say 
engage the abdominal muscles, belly button in, tucking your chin, slightly coming all the way down, rolling yourself down. You can stop anywhere that is good for you. If you can make it to the hands towards the floor, that's fine. Letting the arms just dangle, the head just dangle. Think of a yoga rag doll if you've ever taken yoga. And now in this position, you're gonna roll yourself up. You have to place your hands on your knees to the top of the thigh so that you can easily bring yourself all the way up. And we're gonna do that one more time. You're gonna start by engaging the abs, belly button in, tuck the chin, rolling all the way down, vertebra by vertebra, feeling that little bit of a stretch in the back. It should feel like a good stretch, not a bad stretch, not like you're straining anything. Listen to your body, your body will tell you. And then you're slowly gonna roll yourself back up. You can place your hands on the top of your thighs and let the arms assist coming up so you're not putting pressure on that lower back and bringing yourself all the way back up. So we're gonna stretch out the legs a little bit um, by bringing the right leg out with the heel down and the toe up. And in that position, be mindful. I just wanna remind you of the chairs that they don't rock forward. So do whatever you need to do to stay safe. Aiming your chest towards the top of the thigh, keeping that leg as straight as you can. Try not to put any pressure on that extended knee. You can place your other hand on the leg if you need some support, but reaching down towards the leg. You can also reach past the foot. And if you're more flexible, you may wanna bring both hands past the foot as if you're reaching towards your foot. Again, don't do anything that you're not comfortable with. You wanna keep that back as flat as you can. You don't wanna round the back and you wanna keep your head in alignment with the spine. Imagine you have an apple underneath your chin so that you're not bringing your chin all the way to the neck. And now slowly bring yourself up. Stay in this position. See if you can bring your toes down towards the floor without straightening, without bending the leg and then bring it back up and bring it down towards the floor and up. One more time, taking it down towards the floor and bringing it up and then just neutral position with that leg. So we're not done with that leg yet. Um, those of you who have been coming often, um, know this next move where you're gonna either cross at the ankle or bring the ankle on top of the thigh. So we're doing what's called a figure four stretch. So if you had hip replacements or hip issues, be mindful of what is safe for you. Bringing that leg up. And if you don't have any issues and you can press into that thigh, stretching out the thigh there, even in this position, you can open up the, the hip flexors if that is appropriate for you. So as you're pressing down into that inner thigh, if you can just lean your body forward, you're gonna feel that stretch intensify a little bit. In the glute area, over here on that right side, if you are even more flexible and you're able to bring your arms up and over like that ragdoll position, if that's not good for you, stay where you were. And if you are in this down position, you can place your hands on the calf, use your arms to bring your body up so you don't strain your lower back. And now you can take your left hand in the center of the right thigh. We're gonna use that leg for leverage as you push into the leg and you're looking over your shoulder. Again, be mindful if you have any spine issues, do what is appropriate for you. and bringing it back to the center. We're gonna rotate the ankle five times. So bring it around for one, trying not to move any other part of the leg. Two, we want the ankles nice and flexible. Three, four, and five. Now reverse for one, two, three, four, and five and carefully bring that leg down. So we're gonna do all the same things to the other side, starting with the heel down, toe up. 
leaning towards the leg. Keep your back flat. Keep your head in alignment with your spine, meaning don't drop the chin or don't bring your head all the way up. Reaching towards your foot. Don't put any pressure on that left knee. Reaching past the foot. Reaching with both hands if that's appropriate for you. And then carefully bringing yourself back up. Staying in this position, see if you can drop your foot down to the floor flat. And then bring it all the way back up. Taking it down. And up one more time. Taking it down. And up. And then just neutral position. So now cross where you are comfortable crossing, either at the ankle or in the center of the thigh putting a little bit of pressure in the inner thigh if that's appropriate for you. And then in this position, see if you can lean your chest towards your calf, feeling the stretch in that left glute. If you're even more flexible and you're able to reach up and over and just let your body hang safely, then do that, otherwise stay where you are. And if you are in that down position, place your hands on your calf or shin. Let your arms help the body come up. Don't strain your lower back. And then you can take that right hand in the center of the left thigh, pressing into the thigh, looking over the shoulder. Taking it back to the center. We're going to rotate the ankle around five times. So bring it for one, two, nice and slow and controlled. Here's three, four, and five, and opposite direction, taking it around for one, <coughs> and two, three, and four, and five, and dropping that leg down carefully. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of the shoulders and the arm stretch. So you're gonna bring your right arm just out to the side and you're just going to cross the chest, the left hand, palm up, reaching for the forearm, gently guiding that arm across. Again, don't go uh, force anything or don't um, overstretch anything, just holding that position. Those of you who want a deeper stretch or are familiar with a deeper stretch, where you can actually place that forearm where the elbow is, bringing it in. It's more intense. If that's not good for you, stay where you are. And then you're just going to bring that right arm out straight. You can let the left hand support the upper arm, bringing your fingers up towards the ceiling. Now reaching your fingers towards your shoulder. Again, this might be enough of a stretch for you. Otherwise, you can go a little farther, stretching the back of the upper arm. And another way would be up and over if that works for you. But if you're struggling to get here, then you're not really stretching. So stick with the position that you actually feel a stretch. And if you are up here, you can take it into a tiny side bend, feeling the stretch in the whole right side of the body. And slowly bringing yourself back up, releasing the arm. And now you're going to take that right hand out like you're saying stop. You're going to bring the left fingers, gently pulling the right fingers back, feeling the stretch in the underside of the forearm. For a deeper stretch, you can turn the palm up and bring the fingers down, or you could stay where you were if that was sufficient for you. And then you're just gonna release the hand, let the hand just flop forward, and you're gonna put gentle, I can't stress the word gentle, very gentle pressure in that position, just counter stretch, and releasing the hand. So we're going to try all of that on the other side, starting with the arm out to the side, if you can. You're going to reach the arm forward, turn that right palm up, reach for your forearm, and just gently bring the arm across your body, trying to keep the arm as straight as you can. Again, you can take it into that deeper stretch by putting the arm 
resting it where the elbow is. If that's too much for you, stay where you were. Don't force anything. We all have different bodies, different flexibility levels, different issues. And now you can take that um, left arm and reach it forward. Let the right arm help it up. Bringing the fingertips towards your shoulder, giving yourself a little push from the front. Again, you can stay here if you are used to bringing the arm up and over and you're flexible enough. Otherwise, if you're having trouble reaching here, stay here so you get, so you get a stretch that's beneficial to you. We can also take it into a little bit of a side bend, getting that stretch. And bringing yourself all the way back up, releasing the arm down, taking it out like you're saying stop. Gently bring the fingers back. And bringing the palm up, fingers down, stretching that again. And letting the hand just flop. Coming back again, gentle still. And bringing the arms down. So we're going to bring the arms up overhead, putting the palms together. So bring the arms all the way up or as high as you can. You're going to end up in the center of your chest. So you can go right there if up overhead's not good for you. Taking it in the center of the chest, nice wide elbows. And you're going to rotate your fingers towards me. Again, still working on stretching the wrists, the hands. Bring your fingers up and over towards yourself. It's a little more awkward, so don't force it. Trying to keep a straight line from elbow to elbow. And again, bringing them up and over towards me. Up and over towards yourself. Now you're going to bring your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Let the right fingertips press the left. Without moving the arms like this, just push against the fingers. And now release. Now let the left fingers push the right fingers towards the right. And bring them up towards the ceiling. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms towards me. So flip them outwards, reaching them out. Now you're stretching the fingers or you can reach them down if your arms are getting tired. And releasing the hands, bringing them back in. So we're gonna bring our legs nice and wide. <laughs> we're gonna be pressing into the thighs, leaning forward a little bit getting a nice inner thigh stretch, getting a nice hip flexor stretch. And from here, you're just going to drop the right shoulder towards the floor. As you're doing that, you're pushing into that right thigh a little bit more, just by the position of the body. Taking it over to the other side, dropping that left shoulder down a little bit more. taking it to the center, and you're just gonna tuck your chin, roll the back, think of the cat-cow, and then roll yourself all the way back up. So we're gonna take it into a little bit of a take on a yoga warrior to get a whole side stretch. We're gonna bring the arms out to the side. If that's an issue, you can just leave them down and just take your body over like that. Otherwise, bring the arms out. We're gonna lean to the left. You're gonna put the left forearm on your left thigh and look up towards the sky, arm up or down, it's up to you. Holding that position, feel the stretch all the way along that right side. For a deeper stretch, decide if you want to do that or you can stay right here. You're going to drop that left hand towards the floor in front of that left leg or behind. Behind is easier, in front is harder. So I'm just reaching down towards the floor. So the left hand is down, the right hand is up. And if you are in this position, slide your forearm back to the thigh so you can help yourself get up bringing the arms out to the side. So now we're gonna take it over to the other side, bringing that right forearm to the right thigh, 
reaching up towards the sky. And you could lower the right arm either in front of the thigh or behind the thigh or not at all. It's up to you. Reaching down towards the floor. And to help yourself up, you could slide that forearm back to the thigh to help your body come up, bringing the arms down all the way to your sides. So we're going to do a couple of inhales, bringing the arms up and then bringing them down. On the final one, we're going to reach back and reach forward, stretching out, opening up the chest. So if coming all the way up is a problem, you can just reach back and then come forward, reach back and forward. Otherwise, bringing the arms all the way up. Nice deep inhale, reaching up. Exhale, taking it down, reaching back. And again, inhale, bringing it up. Exhale, reaching it back. One more time, inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, bringing it back, staying here. If you can, reach for the back of your chair, opening up the chest, leaning forward. If you want a deeper stretch and you're able to do so, if you don't have shoulder issues, you can transfer this position to interlacing your fingers behind your back like this, reaching it backwards as you're leaning forward. So either stay with your hands at the chair or interlace the fingers if that's appropriate for you, holding that position. And just slowly bringing yourself up and just roll those shoulders a little bit, taking them back, we're gonna go a little bit faster. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and switching it for one, two, three, four and five. So we're gonna extend our legs out as long as you can, reaching it out, hands on the chair, just lifting as if you're gonna lift your hips up, but we're not, don't get scared. As if you're gonna just lift those hips up off of the chair, just stretching, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Nice deep inhale and exhale and just continue breathing normally. And then just relax your body. You're going to slowly bring your right knee in towards your chest, reaching for the back of the thigh, hugging it in. And if that's a problem, you can just lower it down. Just bring your hands at the top of the thigh. We're going to go for three extensions. So whether your leg stays down or bring it up, you do what's good for you. So we're going to go for three extensions, bringing it out for one and bend and two and bend one more, and three, and bend. And here, we're just gonna rotate the ankle three times. That's one, two, three, reverse that for one, two, three. And you're gonna take that leg and either put it just next to the other leg or cross it over. Use that leg for leverage as you just twist yourself all the way around. And if you can, you're going to take that right arm and just reach it back. Otherwise, just leave it where it's comfortable for you. And bring yourself all the way back. I'm crossing that leg. And now we're going to do the other side. So you're going to slowly bring your knee either into the chest or just hold it. So bring it to whatever position is good for you. We're going to go for our three extensions, extending out for one and then and two, and bend one more, and three, and bend, rotate the ankle three times, that's one, two, three, reverse for one, two, and three, and again, either place the leg next to the left, the right leg next to the, or cross it over, place your hand on the outside of the thigh, twisting, looking over your shoulder, bringing, reaching the arm out, if you can, reaching behind you, looking towards that hand and coming back to the center. And we are just gonna take it into one more hip circles to open up the hip. So we're gonna take it all the way up and around to go out as far as you can, 
going for three and two and three. Reverse that, bringing it up and around for one and two and three. Other leg. So taking it all the way and around for one and around for two and three. And reverse that around for one and two and three. All right. So we're going to slowly take our way down to the mat. And pretty much what we're going to start on the mat is what we just did here. So if you're not coming down to the mat, you can do. You're going to be doing those extensions again in your chair, looking over, bringing the arm out. So those things you can still do easily in the chair. So get yourself set up any way that is for you. Okay. Okay. So you're taking it down on your back. You're going to extend your hands and feet to the opposite sides of the room. You're going to take one nice inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And again, nice deep inhale. And exhale. And breathe normally. And extend those legs out nice and long like you did earlier if you can. Reaching the arms down towards the ground if you're on the chair and up overhead if you're able to on your mat. And then you're going to slowly bring your right knee into your chest, just like we did earlier. Either hands behind the side or wherever was good for you. Taking it for the three extensions, we're going to hold them a slight bit longer. So just bring it up and hold it there for one. And slowly bend. And two. And bend, we're gonna hold that last one even longer. And three, ideally we should be holding our stretches 30 to 60 seconds. And then bend, and now rotate your ankle three times. That's one, two, try just the ankle and three, not the whole leg and opposite direction for one, two, and three, and then you can take that leg and cross it over the other or bring it next to the other. If you're on the mat, you can take the left hand on the outside of the right leg and bring it as close to the floor as you can. You can also try extending your right arm out to the side like we did in our chair earlier, looking towards that hand. And bring yourself back to the center, slowly releasing that leg, extending that leg out long. So now take it to the other side. You can bring the left knee into the chest the same way you did earlier, hugging it all the way in, going for your three extensions a little bit slower. So straighten out that leg as much as you can. And then bend and straighten it for two and bend. This last one, we're gonna hold a little bit longer, so straighten and hold. And bend, then rotate the ankle three times. That's one, two, three. Reverse that for one, two, and three. And you can take that right hand on the outside of the left, and bring it over to the side or cross the leg over, whatever you did on the one side or whatever you did earlier, bringing the leg over as close to the floor as you can if you're on the mat or just cross it over if you're on the chair. You're gonna extend that left arm out to the side like you did earlier, looking towards that hand. And bringing yourself back to the center. And if you're on your mat, you're going to hug that knee in. And then you're going to also hug the other knee in if you're on the chair. Just bend both knees. And you can either come down into that roll down or the cat position. Or just sit comfortably in your chair. And if you're on your mat, we're going to lower one leg at a time, slowly release your legs, lowering one leg down 
and the other leg down. It's much safer trying to lower both at the same time, puts a lot of pressure on that lower back. So if you have your rope or strap, we're gonna stretch a little bit deeper, a little bit more. You're going to place the rope or strap underneath your right foot, extending that leg out, flexing your foot as much as you can, and bringing the bottom of that flexed foot up towards the ceiling. And if you don't have any back issues and you're able to stretch out that left leg straight on the mat, do so if that bothers your back, keep it bent. You're gonna place both pieces of your rope or strap in your right hand, and you're gonna extend the left arm out to the side. You're gonna look left as you slowly with control, lower that right leg out to the side, opening up the hip. And then slowly bring that right foot back up towards the ceiling. Switch hands with your strap, extending that right arm out to the right. Look right as your right leg crosses over to the left. And bringing that foot back up towards the sky. On my count, we're going to inhale and exhale to a count of four. On the exhale, see if you can bring the leg in a little bit more or just continue holding where you are. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale slower for one, two, three, four. Resume breathing normally, continue holding your position. And if your left leg is extended straight down on your mat, if you're on a mat, you can slide the left foot back to where it was with the left knee bent, the left foot flat on the floor. And now you're gonna straighten out your right foot from the ankle and hold. Then flex and hold, use the strap, straighten, deepen that stretch. Again, straighten and hold, flex and hold. And now you're gonna cross that right ankle in the center of the left thigh. Same thing we did seated. So if you were able to cross it over in the thigh, then do so. Otherwise cross at the ankle if you're in the chair. And then you can place your right hand in the right inner thigh, push it away just like we did in the chair. So you can just stay in this position. <clears throat> If you want a deeper stretch and you're on your mat, you can bring your left knee in towards your chest. If you're on the chair, lower your chest down to the leg. So we're in our figure four stretch. <coughs> and you can release the leg slowly lowering that left foot to the mat, right foot to the mat. So we're gonna do those same little stretches on the other side. You're gonna take your strap, put it on the bottom of your left foot, extend that leg out straight, flex your foot as much as you can, bringing that left foot up towards the sky, going as far as you safely can without forcing or bending or um, bouncing. And if you can, you're gonna slide your right leg out straight on the mat. If that bothers your back, keep it bent. Whatever you were able to do on one side, do on the other. You're gonna place both pieces of your strap in your left hand. You're gonna bring the right arm out to the right. You're gonna look right as you slowly with control lower that left leg as far down as you can. If you're on your mat, make sure that that right hip stays down on the mat. Don't let it lift up. And then you're going to slowly bring that left foot back up towards the sky. Switch hands with your strap. Extend the left arm out. Look left as your left leg crosses over to the right.
and slowly bring that left foot back up. And on my count, we're gonna inhale and exhale to a count of four. On the exhale, see if you can bring that leg in a tiny bit more or just continue holding where you are. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale slower for one, two, three, four. Resume breathing normally, continue holding your position. And if your right leg is out straight on your mat, you can bring it back to where it was with the right knee bent, the right foot is flat on the floor. And now you're gonna straighten out that left foot from your ankle and hold, then flex and hold, straighten and hold, flex and hold. And now we're gonna do that figure four stretch that we did in the chair earlier and we did on the other side. You're gonna place the ankle in the center of your right thigh or cross at the ankle, whatever was better for you. And you're gonna place your left hand in the left inner thigh, push that leg away, open up your hip area. And if you're in the chair, you're gonna lower your body down to your leg. If you're on the mat, you're gonna bring your leg up towards your body. And then releasing that leg, slowly lowering that right foot down to the mat, left foot down on the mat. And we're gonna take it into a seated position. So if you're in the chair, taking it into that wide position we were in before, if you're on the mat, try to bring your soles of the feet together and drop your knees as far down as you can. And you're just gonna lean forward. So if you're on the on the chair, you can bring your legs nice and wide, pressing into it like we did earlier. If you're on the floor, then bring it in this position, leaning the chest down towards the edges of your feet. And slowly bring yourself back up. We're gonna make our, all wake our way up to a standing position. So if you're on the mat, use the chair if you need it or come up in a way that you know is safe for you. Keeping those shoulders level, keep the chin level. You're gonna lower your right ear to the right shoulder, right fingertips at that left temple, applying gentle pressure, reaching the left fingertips towards the floor, the arm is away from your body. You can stay in this position if you have neck issues, be mindful. You can also take that right hand behind that left ear, bringing that head forward on a diagonal and then placing that left hand behind the back. Again, only stop at the one that is best for you. If it gets too intense, go back to the prior stretch. And if the hand is behind the back, you can remove the hand from behind the back, remove the hand at the head, slowly bring the head up. If you need assistance, just use the hand, otherwise just bring it up. So now bring that left ear to the left shoulder. Try not to lean the body, just the head. Left fingertips at that right temple, gentle pressure, reaching to the floor, the arm is away from the body, and then try moving the position of the left hand behind the right ear, bringing your head forward, but on a diagonal, and that right hand behind the back, if you're able. And if the hand's behind the back, release the hand behind the back, release the hand at the head, bringing that head up bringing the heels slightly closer together, the hands are out. We're gonna inhale. As we inhale, lift the hands, lift the heels, lift the eyes to the sky, but don't lift the chin up. So nice deep inhale, everything comes up, eyes, heels, hands. Exhale, everything comes down, eyes, heels, the eyes up to the floor. One last time, inhale up, everything comes up. Exhale down and everything comes down. All right, I want to thank you for joining me on another Thursday afternoon. Have a good weekend ahead of you. Enjoy the nice weather. All right, thanks. Thank you, everybody.